It's no secret that efficient communication is critical to every organization's success, regardless of industry. However, in order to properly get what it takes to communicate effectively, you must first comprehend the various cultural aspects that influence how individuals connect. Our world is more interconnected than it has ever been, resulting in several changes in how businesses and organizations work. Workplaces are becoming more diverse, remote teams are dispersed across the country or the globe. And organizations that once catered to a single demographic may now cater to a worldwide market. All of these elements have combined to make cross-cultural communication a critical component of business success. Here are some reasons why cross-cultural communication is vital in the workplace as well as some strategies for overcoming cultural obstacles and improving communication within your company. Cross-cultural communication, what is it? The technique of understanding both differences and similarities among cultural groups in order to effectively participate within a given setting is known as cross-cultural communication. In other words, cross-cultural communication refers to the adaptations that people from various cultural backgrounds make in order to increase communication. It's vital to understand how cultural factors influence communication between individuals and groups in the workplace in today's fast-changing professional world. The first step in developing a successful work environment that brings out the best in all of an organization's team members is to develop strong cross-cultural communication abilities. What are the benefits of cross-cultural communication? Organizations must understand the communication patterns of employees, customers, investors, and other audiences to be successful in any business. The ability to transmit knowledge is enabled by awareness and willingness to adapt, regardless of cultural values, conventions, and behaviors that may differ between audiences. Culture, according to the Society for Human Resource Management SHRM, has a substantial impact on productivity. As a result, it's critical to remember that workers from distinct backgrounds are motivated by different incentives and respond differently to various management and communication approaches. How can cross-cultural communication be improved? Here are four suggestions to assist your company to improve cross-cultural communication. 1. Accept agility. A typical hurdle to cross-cultural communication is the inability or reluctance to adapt to change. According to Goodman, people are often hesitant to accept new ideas because they are afraid that doing so would change their culture or belief system in some way. Actions can be damaging to personal and organizational progress if these assumptions are not challenged. People can become more adaptable by being aware of unconscious barriers or subconscious biases. When an organization becomes too entrenched in its ways, it might stifle improvement because it is unwilling to attempt new approaches, Goodman adds. Organizations must instead focus on continual improvement, which necessitates a certain level of flexibility and openness to test new approaches. Unfortunately, no one-size-fits-all solution exists for this issue. Rather, the most effective way to address the problem is to begin on a personal level. To begin, consider moving outside of your comfort zone at work and attempting new things. One of the best ways to embrace this idea in terms of cross-cultural communication is to attempt new ways of doing things in ways that can help you better comprehend the perspectives of others. 2. Be flexible. Closed-mindedness is another impediment to cross-cultural communication that can sabotage an organization's success. People fall into the trap of believing that there is only one right way to do things and that everything else is wrong, says Goodman. On a personal level, becoming more open-minded might be as simple as learning more about a viewpoint you might not have previously considered. Exposure to different perspectives and an effort to comprehend them can have an impact on how you make judgments in the future. When working with a closed-minded person, on the other hand, Goodman recommends asking questions and looking for opportunities to provide a variety of viewpoints for your audience by presenting credible and valid evidence. When it comes to persuading someone to consider different options, reliable data can be a strong tool. You can create trust by explaining options and listening. However, effectively presenting this information can be difficult. It can have a reverse impact if people are overwhelmed by the information or doubt its legitimacy. To successfully persuade others you examine alternative views with an open mind and make sure to thoroughly locate and deliver the facts. 3. Encourage meaningful dialogue. 
individual cultural differences might be exacerbated by a lack of communication within an organization. People tend not to speak up or offer views and opinions in an environment that does not allow for open communication. So, how many members of an organization encourage open communication and unfettered interaction? While organizational culture is unlikely to alter overnight, making an effort to generate individual conversations can be a step in the right direction. Connecting with someone who could have a different perspective than your own is one of the finest ways to get started, Goodman says. Start a conversation with someone from another department, ask questions, and actively listen to obtain a deeper understanding of their point of view. This will not only help you comprehend and appreciate another person's point of view, but it will also help you create good workplace relationships. Be curious, ask questions, and be open to diverse points of view, Goodman advises. Encourage meaningful interactions to improve the overall atmosphere by providing a welcoming setting where team members may freely share their opinions and ideas. 4. Develop awareness. Being more culturally and self-aware is another crucial step in developing cross-cultural communication in the workplace. On a personal level, you should try to recognize your own hidden biases and assumptions that influence your interactions with others. Although it may be easier said than done, you can begin by attempting to empathize with your audience and obtain a deeper knowledge of their perspective. Goodman suggests starting with an internal communications audit at the organizational level. Throughout this process, you should inquire about how your company's mission and values are defined, whether they are inclusive, and whether the team's varied cultures have been considered. This research will provide you with a solid understanding of the condition of your corporate culture, as well as areas in your organizational communication strategy that you can enhance to better serve your team members and meet your objectives. Improving Communication at Work Cross-cultural communication is simply one, yet crucial, part of an organization's total communication strategy. And increasing it can be a wonderful starting step toward maximizing employee and business success. Learning the fundamentals of corporate communications, in addition to the recommendations provided above, can give you the skills you need to grasp all of the aspects that impact workplace communication. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.